Yo, it's your boy Marcus from Morstini back into the video. Today, we're going over a little how to hit legendary in Kyle Mobile VR without playing. Uh, it's pretty simple, but first we're going to talk about this little clutch I have with this random player on my team. He managed to kill somebody. Don't know. I guess this is like the best random I've ever had in first person. Alcatraz, uh, whatever you call this game mode, like quads. Um... But we managed to clutch up this 2v4, and you'll see how we do it right here. But the main game thing we're talking about here with this uh, gameplay, make sure you abuse these broken wonder weapons they give you, like this war machine and purifier and crap that they give you out of these drops, because they're so stupid. I don't even know why you would put that in there, but they put it in there, and it's just like, I don't know. It's just free kills. Um, how you actually hit Legendary without playing in COD Mobile yeah, it's gonna be based more off the fact of like you have to actually start the game but you don't have to play the game so here's how it works when you queue into a br game on alcatraz first person right if you queue into an alcatraz third person game this does not work there's multiple reasons why reason one why it doesn't work is there's more real people playing third person than there are playing first person right so if there's more real people playing third person when you queue into the game and you put your phone down and you stop playing because you don't want to play br because uh, you hate br or br sucks and you don't have time to play or grind br um or you only play multiplayer and you're still trying to hit legendary and br but you don't want to waste your time with it well the other real people in the lobby are probably going to kill your team because your team only has three people or your team sucks because they're randoms and the other team is like a four full party sweat of sweats or whatever like four sweats duking it out trying to get as many kills as possible um so doing it in third person not really efficient but doing it in first person as you'll see later on in the video very efficient i mean dude i have hit went from master one to grandmaster one this season i have like 15 zero kill wins um i didn't play at all and i got the win i literally didn't have to do anything it's great because i don't want to play br i don't have time to play br it's boring and i just it's super time consuming and i don't want to do it um as you guys can see here i actually played this game did whatever didn't even matter um this does hurt your stats if you're one of those dudes who really cares about stats or something like that um obviously getting zero damage every game is going to hurt your damage per game uh number me personally i don't care Every time I play Alcatraz, I get like 4,000 damage. So that'll pretty much even it out. If I play one time and then not play at all one time, then that's 2,000 damage for two games. So not a really a big deal. I don't really care about that. If it mattered to anybody, I don't think it does. Uh, my damage per game is so high. I think anybody who sees it's like, holy shit. I think I average like 1,850 per game. And that I had it at like 1,300 just for the big maps. And then Alcatraz started coming out um like every so often and every time i would play that that would bring it up because alcatraz i get like i could get 40 kills maybe 30 um and i usually play first person i don't hate third person call of duty third person call of duty gives me aids anyway enough about that i've already kind of given my discussions about third person br i fucking can't stand it at this point in my life um especially for cod right there ended that game you come over here to this screen you make sure you give your teammates likes or don't if they suck. Um, here I'm hitting Grandmaster 1. I pretty much didn't really have to play at all to hit this. I just, all I did was start the lobby, go watch a movie, come back a few minutes later, hit the button again. And that's it. That's all I had to do. Not much work involved. Um, you don't have to actually do anything. And you still win. <laughs> you still win. The majority of your games, you will still win because in first person, it's mostly bots. Like, BR in general is mostly bots. But in first person, you're going to queue with, like, two or three other real t teammates. And those guys are going to kill bots until the game's over. And you're going to get 80 points for the win. They're going to get 95 because they got whatever many kills they got. It doesn't matter. But you got 80 points for not doing anything. And you don't have to waste any of your time. Right here, you see a bunch of games in a row where I did this. And it worked to perfection. I did play, like, got two kills in that one game just because. But, uh, yeah. It's pretty stupid. This is just a little gimmicky way to do things. Um, so, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. If you're interested, give it a shot. And, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out of here. Peace.